grandmother also grew up downwind from a nuclear testing area. Downwinders was the group she and her family were considered a part of. Several of the 13 trip siblings have died from cancer. Carol died just after she graduated high school. My grandmother isn't scared of anything. I'm more scared of time than mountain lions or cancer. Time that slips away, time that turns into loss of time while potential slips away, time that turns into lost time that becomes not enough time. My grandmother says, don't wish your life away. The desert is eternal, or so it seems from Angel's Landing in Zion National Park, looking down onto a carved out canyon where a river snakes through and ravens soar overhead. Have I ever been so close to heaven? If I stretch my arms out wide enough, I can almost brush the sky. I lie across the ledge, feeling the grit under my stomach. My cheek scratches on dirt. The sunshine warms my back. I bloom. The hairs on my arms reach to soak in the rays and warm my skin. I rise in the heat. I am scared of heights, but not here. My grandmother and I have the same durability in our eyes. Mine blue like a sky without clouds or ravens, hers brown like desert mud. We are both women of resolve with a natural inclination to be kind. I'm not sure if the kindness or the resolve shows in my eyes. She's the true desert baby, and she is stronger than me. A boy and I stand under the southern Utah stars. He says, you're not worth it. I walk home in the dark, tripping on cracked sidewalks, the red of Cedar Canyon just a shadow in the distance. I think of her for the next four months. My grandmother would have turned her rattlesnake anger against him. She would have forgotten the words before they sunk into her. My grandmother and grandfather slow dance in the kitchen. My grandfather has begun to forget his mind, but not her. He has just shaved his whiskers clean and asked my grandmother to fill his face. She touches her rough, wind-whipped hands to his cheek and ducks her head into his chest. A man and I hike among the hoodoos in Bryce Canyon. Dust flies up beneath our feet on the trail. Wind whips around my face. He looks at me with eyes the color of sagebrush, like maybe I'm a desert moon and he's been a lonely traveler. In Calio, she was carved by wind and not all of her edges were worn smooth. She was raised in dirt and breathed in sage. Her desert heart accepts the love of a strong man and nothing less. A strong man who matches the strength of the West Desert woman. In Lehigh, I was polished by lake water, but not all of my edges were worn smooth. I was raised in the willows and breathed in dust. My desert heart accepts the love of a strong man and nothing less. A strong man who matches the strength of the granddaughter of the West Desert people. My grandmother left me a map back to the desert. I wrote it in my veins, and sometimes my blood ignites to tell me I'm home.